Look at how much dust. I mean, it's just still blue. The coat hangers have rusted. Oh my gosh. Whew. So I'm about taking it outside it was the best idea. So what would you value that box at? Here's the thing you always ask yourself when you get these type of units. Why? <laughs> what was I thinking? Should have listened to Jeff. Why oh, didn't no, I listen? Oh, that's an awesome unit. Oh. Okay, so it's getting real close now. You want to cut it and make it look like you did it like you usually do? Uh-huh. After I do all the work? Yeah. This, you know, so dirty and dusty. I was like, I know. I think some. I think he passed away. Oh man. Or something. Because it must have been there forever. Yeah. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba Auction there, extraordinaire with just Jeff, and I bought this unit a hundred and ninety dollars. It looks like it's been sitting there well forever, and as you just heard, the manager said she believes the gentleman passed away. This might be the dirtiest, the dustiest, the filthiest unit I ever bought. But one thing I'm hoping is I can make some money on it. And that's why I do this, is trying to make some cash, run a business, and I gotta pay just Jeff. And he doesn't just work for cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what's inside. If you guys haven't subscribed, it's free. Hit the bell, get on your notifications, you don't wanna miss a thing, and let's see what we got, just Jeff. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, I think it's been in storage with the door open. Yeah, it's crazy. Who knows what you gotta find in this type of unit, and like I said, look at this. It's so old, the dust I mean, is growing hair. And I mean, it's still dirty, so. Oh. So this could just be all files, office stuff, personal stuff so checks see if we got a date on here 83 it looks like so when i bought this you know i was a little concerned that you know but i had to take a risk just because it was so filthy and dirty and you could tell no one's touched it it could be dixie cups like that and believe it or not that's probably worth five ten dollars because they're a vintage dixie cup and people out there would buy this they're brand new as dumb as it sounds what is this? The printing stuff. It must be these pieces of paper right here. So, the Style Center, Alaria. Oh, so maybe this is like a clothing store or something? Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, um, we got whiteouts. We got slides. Let's see if I can see. Is it? Huh. That's wild. Look at how much dust. I mean, it's just still blue. The coat hangers have rusted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, about taking it outside was the best idea. So, what would you value that box at? First box? Or this box? That one. The one you're on. This one? Yeah. I don't know that. I haven't talked to him. See, I would have already given up. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> London, London fog, fog, brand new, old stock, and protected. How did it? How did it get protected? Well, mostly protected. I mean, right there. It's got to be worth a few bucks. I mean, what do you think? I think twenty, so. thirty bucks? Yeah. Let's put a twenty on that. All right. That one I'm gonna give up on. How about this one? I don't know. Once again, it's brand new, size 14. I think I could wear a 14. Vintage. So this might just be a clothing store. Wouldn't that be something? But yeah, everything might be. How old? Matthew Love Petite. Matthew Love. Brand new, old stock clothing. Look at that dress, that's money. That's the look, man. That is pretty cool looking. 
I mean, that, that, that's made in the United States. That's how you know it's old. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's vintage right there. Yeah. We'll have to look up Matthew Love, but here's, you know, we got all this stuff. It's all brand new. It's still wrapped. That's I mean, crazy. It keeps coming. That's funny. I put zero value on that box. And it, and was the per, think, it was the top it. layer that was dirty. And the do we add it Yeah. Lesson learned, right? Yeah. That's the style there, yeah. buddy. This is a two skirt outfit. Makes me want to go on a cruise. Look at that, yeah. Take your wife? Or oh, you're wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all brand new. Alright. Put this that away. Vintage clothing. So I mean that box pace for the unit. 190 Done. bucks for a unit. Done. Done. So it looks like this is all files. I mean look at these cobwebs. Well you know what? If you look in if you look back in the back, the reality is is at, the top layer is dusty, so once you get after you know, through the top layer that should start cleaning up. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, clothes. And it's all. And that top right one's going to be dirty. And then look underneath. Okay. Look, but there's two of them. Look at the strawberries on there. What's the what's the tags? The tag say? Oh. Size eight, size twelve, urban or suburban. Have a nice day. There was a there was designed a, by Muriel there, Ryan. There was a tag that just fell. Where'd it go? Nothing. It says price twenty eight dollars. Wow, shit! Look how old the paper is. Nineteen eighty two. Wow. Nineteen eighty two. These clothes, thirty <laughs> one years, have been sitting in this unit. Possible. It looks like it's been sitting here 31 years. But look at this. Look, oh, you see this. Medium, 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 small. Unbelievable. Mouse. These got chewed that up by a mouse. mouse. Yeah, these got a little damage. That's that top layer. But look at this. That's that's funny. That cracks me up. I would have. Brand would, new pair of jeans. Oh my gosh, they're so old. This tag just broke in my hand. Style Center. Mother Fine Product. Gloria Vanderbilt. By Marion. I mean, these could be $100, $1,000. Who knows? I mean, the 30 year old, brand new old stock. Styling. Okay, so I graduated in 83, yeah. so there's got to be someone out there my age, like a female, that that brings back some memories that they wore those. For Tania? Yeah, but they probably can't fit in them. 16 Maybe that's a bad idea. straight leg. That looks pretty small. Look at that. I'm telling you, you guys, if you know about this stuff, let me know in the comments, but i got to see vintage clothing. I mean... Money, money, money all day. And Jeff? I just didn't see that coming. I didn't just see it coming didn't either. See. You oh. never know. Other pair. That's the tag. It just, it's leather. It broke in my hand. That's what it looks like. The probably tag alone is probably worth money because they probably have nothing on this. That's one. pushing it. That, I think, is pushing it. I mean, that looked good on you, Jeff. A little Heck small. Is, this whole box is just all by that designer. We got corduroy pants, regular pants, and shirts. Wow. Who's in the file cabinet? Just files? Money. Oh my gosh. What is that, Ron? This is like a, this ain't a regular file cabinet. It's like a safe. It's it is heavy. a fire safe. Yep. It's a fire cabinet, basically, file cabinet. And uh, if you got the keys for this, this is. I'm telling you, that's almost better than having it safe. It's heavy as heck, though. But look at all the paperwork. This doesn't look like it takes keys. 83. Oh, yeah, it's in the side. Oh, right here. No way. Ah. I was hoping. 
but these do have value. If I ever say like this. Oh. oh my gosh. The only issue, you know how heavy this is? Hope you got the dolly. Yes. I did bring a dolly. Wonder if the top one has to be open for like a toolbox, no? Or is this just, oh, I might have locked it. You did. <laughs> oh, you did. Did you? I think you just locked it. Ouch. That, that hurts. Yeah. Hey, now we get to open it. That's fun. <laughs> just what I wanted. Yeah. That's funny. Look at this. this is all. That's the shopping bag. What's the name on the bag? That's who they're selling it, right? Style Center. Yeah, the, old the style one center. and only downtown Elyria. So obviously this was Style Center place. We're gonna have to do a little research on that. Do some research. Uh, hey, yeah. turn around for one minute. You you got like hair growing up your back over here. Oh man, that's brutal. You're not sitting in my clean van like that. <laughs> I'll sit in the van again. Wait, I gotta get down the wind. Huh. So far I'm guessing some uh, leftover stock and some paperwork, right? So, <laughs> what's it taste like? You ever have crunchy air? <laughs> crunchy air. You can almost floss with it. Sign or something. Whew. Any hangers? I think I'm good. Got a box of hangers. Hey, they're not hangers, they're vintage hangers. This the box it looks like it had office stuff in it. There's the office stuff that was in it. <laughs> <laughs> Paper panels, more office supplies. Vintage tape gun. There's a knife, you're gonna need that. Because these socks just crumble. Yeah. Actually I have one in my I brought one in my pocket today. Yes. I got my little one. I mean my big one. Huh. Looks like tools and stuff. Tags. Style center, baby. Come on, let's find some more clothes. Before. That's a good point. Oh my gosh, all paperwork. 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 The game, 1981. Okay. So, here's the thing you always ask yourself. When you get these type of units, why? <laughs> what was I thinking? Should have listened to Jeff. Why oh, didn't no, I listen? Oh, that's an awesome unit. Oh. The thing I, what I always think about is like, how much? Why do they pay storage on this? Possibly for thirty years. You know what I'm saying? Well. My guess is, like I've heard before, like it's, it comes out of an account, automatic withdrawal, and the person passes away, and then the account just, no one knows it's here, and, and then the account runs empty. Huh. That's what happens. That's what happens. What the heck is this? 30 years. Oh. Uh, yeah, what if there's jewelry? That'd be awesome. That's, oh, maybe that's why I was paying that. That's fashion stuff. Let's do some more bags. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, that's so heavy. Small. Metal. Files. This whole box. Paperwork. So we gotta move some stuff out of the way. See what else we find back here. So far, we found clothes, 30 year old clothes, and some dirt and dust. Making some progress. I mean, look at this floor. 
There's a box there. Look at the dirt that just piled up around. I mean, it's crazy. I'll let Jeff sweep this one out. Yeah, thanks, boss. Because I care, just Jeff. Yeah. Damn. This says April. April 79. Wow. It's gonna be all receipts. Four, six. Hey, good day. Good day. Oh, receipts, man. Wow, from 1979. Woo. August. So this might, hopefully, not all paperwork back here. <laughs> Envelopes. envelopes. Why did you say envelope and I say envelope? Envelope. Envelope. I think I was right. You're wrong. I think people pronounce things different ways. Don't you hear? I say tomato. You say tomato. I guess. They you, say just Jeff and I say. Do you say tomato? No, I don't say tomato. Then what'd you say you, you say, say? you say tomato. No, I say tomato. We both say tomato. You don't say no tomato. Let's see, tomato. So, I mean, it looks like I'm hoping, but this like, might all be paperwork right here. We'll have to take a look. 83. Oh, man. The key to that one might be in the other one. <laughs> Sorry, maybe that wasn't funny. Yeah, when we're trying to move these, we'll see how funny it is. You're not going to open it with scissors. You're not MacGyver. <laughs> yeah, you went and done it. And there's stuff in there, too. Alright, so, giant box here. And we never know what is inside here. The government tells you you're supposed to keep business files, I believe, for seven years. This guy might have kept them for 30, maybe longer. He's been seen files from 1978. It's unbelievable. I mean, who knows how long he rented this storage unit for? But obviously long enough for this much filth, dirt, and dust to accumulate. So, overall, this unit, obviously tons and tons of paperwork. We still don't know what's inside these. It could just be all files, but sometimes I found unbelievable things inside file cabinets like this. And one of these, he could have a, uh, his, his jewelry box. He could have some heirloom or something, firearm. I mean, anything's possible. So we'll have to get those open. Let's see what's in this box. Uh-oh. Photo. This must be from the store. Daily statement of business. Look at this leather bound. 1926. Wow. Unbelievable. What kind of a <coughs> ledger is that? Just their daily statement of business. Oh wow. From 1926. Well, that's that's the oh, date no. when this thing was printed. I'll just put dates in here. Definitely money being made. So daily business statements. Whew. New York. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? It says the letters. Oh wow, look at this old cut out pieces, articles and stuff. Who knows why they were coming out of fashion? Oh, style sense. Right there, and that's the style center. That's the ad at the store. That's kind of cool. These might all be different ads I did. Interesting. Some cool stuff in here. Definitely old. You know, I love old stuff, right, Jeff? Yeah. 
That's why I hang out with you. A little, little part of history. Not not way back history. What did you just say? Oh, no. What did you just say? Something about history. No, I said that. Oh, okay. You said I was old. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Ooh, what it. is in here? Who cares? Look in here, look in here, look in here. Oh. Yeah, an old guy would probably know what that the is. The Saving oh, Deposit wow, Bank and Trust of Elyria, Ohio. That's pretty neat. Something in it. Old receipts. That bag is definitely worth a few bucks. Yes. Here's some old Saving and Trust Deposits. 1951. Kind of little weather things in here. Looks like some bank deposits. Come on, just one half full of cash, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Like all this money, thirty-year-old money. This newspaper right here, 1966. That's amazing. Oh, there's tons of newspaper. A lot of this must be ads. What is this? Oh, blueprints. A dictionary. Some kind of advertising. There we go. Playbill. Beyond the fringe. Huh. Vintage goodness, just Jeff. This box is huge. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have uh, someone in the friend club from Illyria. Maybe they could tell us if they know anything about this store. There's more of these daily statements. A couple of interesting things so far. We got this other side to go. Another playbill. Ooh, it's autographed. I think I just felt something crawling on my neck. You're okay. You sure? Yeah. Just don't look. Or well, if you see the camera like swinging around, I'm trying to kill something. Another plate of war of bell. Another plate bell. Old newspapers. It's this. I know what it was. I was getting it's getting attacked by shrink wrap. Piece of plastic. For, why is that hanging from the ceiling? I have no clue. 59th Anniversary Variety Edition, 1965. Phyllis Diller! Oh, wow. Hey, she's from Cleveland. Is she? I think so. Maybe I she's you. not. I don't know, I believe you. Yeah, she is. There's more of these letter things. If you can't argue it, then she is. This has old newspapers in it. United States lowers Laboom and Smelly War. In Vietnam. Was there a date? I didn't see a date on the. 1965. Wow. Let's see. All newspaper stuff. I could do some quick math. You know how old that is? 65? Yeah. I do, huh? You know? Yeah. Let's see how quick the math is. 57. Huh? 57, maybe 58. Why? Is that when you were born? I was born the year before. <laughs> So, there's the store, fashion model, this one's been for a newspaper. Wow. So interesting piece of history, and we might still be able to find some hidden treasures in this unit. And a lot of people are like, Rob, oh my gosh, the unit, all the paperwork, all the dirt and dust. The cool thing though is I did find new old stock, vintage clothes, and by the style of it, I think that's going to sell pretty well. I definitely believe... It could be over $1,000 in clothes. You never know. I've had clothes are one of those strange things. I have to do some research on the designer and all that stuff, but it doesn't look like they're like cheap Kmart clothes or anything else like that. So who knows? But I appreciate you guys all watching. Don't forget, Just Jeff wants to tell you this. Oh, I want to tell you. Oh, tell me. If you need a model for some of your clothes, I got your back. You got someone? Me.
Oh, I thought you knew somebody. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. Let us know in the comments. Uh, all right. You guys have no clue how heavy these two pieces were. Jeff and I were able to get it done. Trailer's loaded. Now, time to unload. Tears it open. So what'd you get here? Well, this is the second one. The top one I got open empty, then I hand you that. And found this. Yeah. So this one's now empty. I got this one open, which is just, looks like it's files. And now you're trying to get the bottom it. open? Absolutely. <laughs> Using the same techniques as earlier since our drill's battery's dead. I just pried in here, and then once I got enough, I got the... getting real close now you want to cut it and make it look like you did it like you usually do uh-huh after i do all the work yeah we'll try to redeem yourself here <laughs> so we got it open it's coming so we went through before this is this is from me i think the other one's going to be the good one this is from a what clothing salon from the 60s to 80s or so thinking yeah yeah style center or something like that look at that right there got the door off the so, last one the drawer came out so this is what you found this in the top Ooh, we got some stamps and we got a dollar four years a dollar 77 more stamps. Let's see what year these quarters are. 1965, 81, 81, 81, 72. Looks like everything. Look at these pennies. 82, 82. Well, I think the last records we saw were from. Was it 82 or 83? 82 or 83. Yeah. So. so that fits in. 30 years. At least we found a little bit of cash. Now the question is, what's in the other one? You may have a look in there. Oh. Style Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should slide forward. It's a bank bag, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old bank bag. It feels empty. Only a full one. <clears throat> I'm gorgeous. Let's see where it's catching. Book back there or something. Got something back there. A ledger. Am I digging through? Go ahead, man. So you always want to think that this is where the money might be. So you want to dig down deep. How's that? Oh, that was horrible. horrible. Yeah, these are those big ledgers. So what's in the b -b 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 book? You want to know what's in the book? Yeah, another. Got a date on there. Oh, I'm gonna do what you do. See the book? It's a nice book. I don't even do that. Much better. Nope. 1953. Open the next one. It's, well, this one's going to take. I got. Yeah, it's going to take you two seconds now. Huh? That was the hard one. Now you got the door out of your way. It's not two seconds, man. Yeah. How much did you just. How much did you.
you determined that these weigh? A lot. <laughs> I was trying to think. That's got like 400 pounds the other one. It'll help pay for the unit, that's for sure. Oh. Nothing too great. Stationary coupons. You tried. Good job, just Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>